Buckle up and get ready for a fun ride. It's about to go down. With over 20,000 episodes of the best outdoor shows. That's the cool thing. It's got something for everybody. We're the home of the adventurous. The champions. These guys are the best of the best. The legends. There are bigger things happening out here than just shooting bullets at animals. Get three months of My Outdoor TV for only a dollar a month when you use promo code YouTube1. I am, man. It feels good out here. It's breaking daylight. Glass and deer. I can't believe it, man. This is what you live for, dude. Wait all year for this. And then it's gone before you even know it. <laughs> seize the moment, baby. Yeah. I think I seized the day, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another season of Bow Life. We are kicking this year off one of my favorite places to hunt whitetail, and that's Nebraska. My buddy Andy Morgan has an unbelievable lease here, and we've been here before, had great success. I can't wait to get it started again. Me and Micah and Hunter are here a couple days early to scout, so we're gonna go out. Hopefully we can find a couple big deer for us to chase this opening week. We just had our first shooter come out and he is a beast. He's just a long ways off, but I know right where he came from, which is the best part. Just try to get a good look at him. I mean, just a giant frame deer. He's gonna go left on us right here. So, golly boy, that's a big deer. Okay, went in the corn. Well, let's see if he pops out somewhere else. Good news is, I know right where that sucker just went and come from. Man, it feels so good to be glassing up some big velvet whitetails. We're starting to get an idea of what these deer are doing. You know, every year the crops are different and it changes how these deer are acting in these river bottoms. But the majority of the shooters are bedding in the cottonwoods, in the timber, coming across the river into this alfalfa field. Some of them are using the edge of the corn, some of them are coming out further west. The problem is there's only a couple of trees down through this river. Um, and if they don't come out within bow range of those trees, uh, we're gonna have to change up our game plan. But I got a good feeling we're starting to narrow down the pattern and hopefully we can have one of these bucks on the ground. All right guys, it's opening day in Nebraska. We got 20 mile an hour winds, 85 degrees. But we're hunting and I'm pumped. We uh, come in here and hung this set. A bunch of deer we've been watching come out every evening. We've been glassing this alfalfa field from way off and the majority of the bucks have been coming out, or the big bucks have been coming out from right here for the next 200 yards straight to the east. 
We've got an east wind tonight, so I got as close as I thought I could get without blowing them out because it's first day. And uh, we get lucky. Hopefully, they're going to swing to the downwind side of where they've been coming out. And uh, they'll come out on one of these trails right here. Top pin distance will be awesome. A couple big deer. One real big one that I'd love to see. And then I know there's a big 10 pointer real close right here. Hopefully we get one. Opening day. Couldn't be happier to be in a tree. Bow Life is brought to you by Matthews Lacrosse Boots Spartan Forge Trophy Line Tack Veins Browning Trail Cameras Swacker Winsent fourth arrow and by final rest Opening day, we get set up and it was pretty slow. Um, however, with the wind we had, we couldn't really get close to these deer and how they were uh, entering and exiting this alfalfa field. And you know, it's easy for us when we know what the deer are doing to just dive right in and blow the whole week for everybody. Um, but we knew we were gonna have better winds in the coming days, so we hunted really safe. We ended up seeing a couple of the big deer, um, but we were just too far away. Day two, it started pouring rain that morning, so we didn't go out and hunt. Um, we just used that morning to scout. Um, and Andy was a day late, so he's now here. It's lunchtime on day two. We're gonna go meet him at the barn, try to get a really solid game plan together, maybe double team these deer this afternoon. Slowly. But you know how they come out all the, the cross river from that scrape tree area. Right. right. They, they're crossing. I mean, all up and down through there. There ain't one place where they're coming out. They, I watched yesterday evening, not many of them were going up and down the river east and west. That wide 10 was. Most right. of them are crossing straight across, not wasting any time, getting in the feed, and walking dead west all the way to the alfalfa. And some of them will get past that tree you're in and then angle out. How many of them's gonna cut my wind? If it, if, when it goes north tonight, it's gonna go north mm -hmm. behind this rain. So, how many do you think it's gonna be, I mean, pretty detrimental as far as my wind blowing into the feed, into that into that cane? Do you think enough of them will get well, basically south of me to, it's gonna be a constant booger? I mean, anywhere I get on that tree line, it's gonna be a booger, so. The exact same thing right. everywhere you go. Same with us, you know. Right. You just got to hope they don't turn and go back across the river. Yeah, I'm running right back into you deer coming out. That, that, yeah, that won't work. Hmm. All we can do is go try it. Heck yeah, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I believe we're going to load this wagon, son. <laughs> you heard the term load the wagon? The wagon's loaded. Our original plan was to set up in a row of hay bales that we thought was really close to this pinch with the standing corn. And when we get there, 
we realize the hay bales are way too far away. So we have to ditch that plan, me and Micah bail off, and just go into this standing corn right here where it narrows down. Um, the wind is out of the west right now, but it's supposed to turn out of the north, which is what we need about an hour before dark. Um, and if any of these big shooters get out in the field too early, it's gonna be game over for us. But this is literally our only play. All right, guys, day two, September the 2nd. Didn't get to hunt this morning. It just poured the rain all night. The wind just changed. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. It was changing from southwest to west to north. Um, and it just changed so we could get in here. We're hunting the same group of deer that we hunted yesterday. We're just on the other side of the alfalfa in the corn with the north wind river bottoms right here behind me. Hopefully they do the same thing they've been doing. Come right up out of the river, walk right through here, hopefully in bow range. But it's our only play with a north wind on this group of deer, so we're at it. Andy, I can see in a tree about 500 yards away. Um, maybe one of us will get it done tonight. It's been a cluster getting in here. I hate hunting this way, um, but it's our only play, and I'm not sitting at the house, so. Maybe we'll kill a giant. We'll see. Bow Life is brought to you by First Light. Gold Tip, Excel Archery, Loophole Optics, Bomar Archery, Q80 Rest, McCormick Tractors, Last Chance Archery, Kanadi Taxidermy, Kamir Deer, Alima Shield, and by Genesis Wildlife Group. Well, we have made it. We are in the honey hole here in Nebraska. Levi's already got recon right here. He knows there's a good deer. Actually, there's more than one good deer crossing going into the alfalfa. He's on one end. He's just west of us a piece. We're actually a pretty good ways as far as we can go east. We think we've got him pinched down. I think he's watched them for three days now. So he knows they're coming in and they're coming through this gap. And we've kind of got them cut off. There's, there's one little gap in between us. We don't know if we've got them pinched quite enough, but we're out of trees and we're out of options. So, we got a great wind, the first north wind, the first set. So we'll see what turns out. Fingers are crossed. Me and Hunter's pretty excited. We know we're gonna see a bunch of deer. We just hope we get one in bow range that we'll shoot.
So when the deer start coming out, all of the shooters that we've been watching are headed straight to Andy. And from mine and Micah's point of view, it looks like it's about to go down. It looks like they're top pin distance from Andy. And all of a sudden, we see these deer spook and run back to the river. What we didn't know was they were having a standoff with this badger that had came out in the field and this badger was not backing down and the deer didn't like it at all. So the deer disappear in the river and when they pop back out, they're coming right to me and Micah. So what we thought was about to be front row seats to Andy killing a big buck has now shifted and they're all coming right at us. So we're hoping if this wind will stay out of the north, we're gonna be good. I think we're about to get a shot at one of these deer. Couple young buck. Oh, there he is. That's that heart shaped buck. They're running right at us. Closed captioning for bow life is provided by Last Chance Archery. One chance, one moment, one shot. I ain't seen but one or two bucks that's bigger than him on his whole farm so far. So that's the oldest deer that we got as far as I know. I remember it from last year. I couldn't be happier. They watched him fall, so he went down right in the river. Awesome night. What a start to the year. My first buck with the new V3X. Did his job. I mean, what a way to start the season. The way that all went down from thinking we had no chance to all of a sudden they're coming right at us. Um, and the only deer that busted us was the one I was trying to shoot. Um, to be on the ground, eye level with mature whitetail like that in bow range, there's no cooler feeling as a hunter. And I can't say enough about this specter from First Light. I know it's built and made for the tree, the tree stand, the whitetail, the turkey, but it obviously works in standing corn too. Um, and I'm just pumped. Andy and Hunter got to watch this deer run in the river and go down, so we know he's down right there in the riverbed. Can't wait to meet up with him and go check this dude out. Where you see where you're running, Casey. Oh, yeah. God. He bleed good down through our lake. Yeah, he's pouring now. I just wasn't on it. Blood there. I don't know if he went left. Gotta be right here. Oh, right here he is, boys. 
Right here, golly. Lord have mercy, that thing's a cow. <laughs> Woo! He's beautiful. Man, God, he's that, that velvet dude is absolutely it's in, perfect. It's in perfect condition. I don't think I've ever seen one in September that is that. It's God, like he's, he's 10 days good. from coming out. Yeah, he's not. He's not about to come out. That's an no. entry hole right there. You trashed him, dude. Yeah, absolutely trashed. Him. Yeah, God, he's a big old bodied sucker, isn't he? <laughs> Fat boy. No ground shrinkage when they got a body that big. That's even a better set of horns than I thought. Yeah, yeah. I knew when he looked at me, I was like, I'm shooting that sucker. Yeah, he's, he's cool, dude. Beautiful boy. You killed a couple of nice white tails in velvet, but that yeah. right here is about a pretty one. As about as pretty seen. one as I've ever killed, right mm -hmm. there. I just like him because he's old, been around for a while, and he messed up tonight. God. When he headed your way, I made the statement: "You fix him, mess up." <laughs> He's going to walk in front of Levy down there. And Levy's been, <laughs> been itching to shoot something for a long time. Yeah. We've been looking forward to this, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. We started it off now. We broke the ice, boys. Didn't take long, my boy. Golly, how awesome was that? They're so <laughs> special. This hunting season in general is so special. The more you make, the more special it is. I know it, dude. You know, putting my hands on this deer, the first one of the year, the first deer I've shot with the new Matthews, the V3X, 61 yards, uh, just smoked him. And that arrow flight was a beautiful thing in slow-mo. And so, you know, just all smiles here in camp. And Nebraska is a two buck state. And all that means for us is that we're coming back in the rut. I love this place. I love bow hunting. If you guys have ever watched bow life, you need to tune in this season because it was the best we've ever had and probably will never be top from us. Thanks for watching, everybody. To purchase any of the apparel you see on the show, go to www.bowlife.com. We hope you enjoyed this free preview from My Outdoor TV. To continue watching, start your free trial now. Then get your first three months for $1 a month when you use promo code YouTube1.